Good morning, brothers and sisters. I am blessed and highly favored to see another day. All glory and praise be to my Father God who is ahead of everything in my life and especially my marriage. Now with that being said, what I am going to be speaking about on this morning, it is another epistle or you can call it letter by Paul the Apostle. And I am reading out of the book of First Corinthians, um, chapter 13, verse 11 through 13. And it reads, When I was a child, I talked like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. When I became a man, I put the ways of childhood behind me. For now we see only a reflection as in a mirror that we shall see face to face. Now I know in part when I shall know fully even as I am fully known. And now, these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love, agape. And God is love, you know. And uh, this is what Paul is, you know, saying to us. You know, um, one of God's greatest commandments is love that's why he tell us to love our enemies you know bless the ones who persecute us you know speak evil on us you know um but like i say hey and like i said paul is telling us hey you is grown put away them childish things that you used to do, you know, um, that, like I said, when I was a child, you know, I talked like a child, I thought like a child, you know, I reasoned like a child, so with that being said, hey, you know, because, you know, a young child, you know, don't work a full-time job. They don't pay bills. You know, I'm talking about the ages of um, 10 to 12. Don't get me wrong. Some of them kids, like, in different type of, um, you know, uh, countries or continents or whatever, you know, they, they do work. But as far as taking on bills and, you know, raising a family and all that stuff like that, nah. Um... All right, let's jump down in the study section real quick, and I'm going to read some of that. This is uh, uh, verse 13 down in the study section. Paul wrote that love endures forever in morally corrupt Corinth. Love had became a mixed-up term with little meaning. Today, people are still confused about love. It say today people are still confused about love. Love is the greatest of all human qualities and is the very essence of God himself. The greatest of all human qualities is the very essence of God himself. Love involves unselfish service to others. Faith is the foundation and content of God's message. Hope is the attitude and focus. Love is the action. When faith and hope are in line, we are free to love completely because we understand how God loves 
does your faith fully express itself in loving others? You know, and I know people make it hard, you know, to love them, you know, because you got people, you know, want to, um, you know, lie on you, um, you know, treat your heart like a rug and step all over it. Um, you got people want to steal from you, you know, all type of stuff. But if you standing with God, like he said, you must love, you know. He didn't tell us to love their flesh, but he said to love their heart and their spirit, you know. Um, and, hey, I ain't going to lie to you, you know. Um, it is hard to love in this world, straight up. It is, you know. Um, all right, let's jump. Let me see. All right. Um, all right. This is uh, verses 10 through 12. When Paul wrote of knowing fully, even as I am fully known, this is what Paul said. He was referring to when we will see Jesus Christ face to face. God gives believers spiritual gifts for their lives on earth in order to build up, serve, and strengthen fellow Christians so that they can be better encouraged and equipped to share the love of God with the world. Spiritual gifts are given only to believers. Wow. You see that? Spiritual gifts are given only to believers. And eternity will be made perfect and complete and will be in the very presence of God. We will no longer need spiritual gifts, so they will come to an end. They will have a full understanding and appreciation for one another as unique expressions of God. Infinite captivity, we will use our differences as a reason to praise God. Based on that perspective, let us treat each other with the same love and unity that we will one day share. See there? And God's word, like, go deep in talking about love and, and talking about hope, you know, talking about uh, the Holy Spirit, you know, um, and like I said, yeah, I know I'm reading, you know, out of my life application study Bible. You know, I stay in this each and every day, you know, because um, I want to, you know, understand more and more and more about God's word. You know, I don't want to understand nothing about this world, but how to love this world. But with God's word, it teaches us how to love. You know, these knuckleheads out here. I used to be a knucklehead. And I made it hard to love me. I did. I'm not going to, I ain't going to lie. I'm not better than nobody. You know what I'm saying? I did make it hard to love me. You know, but that's when I was living in the world and playing as a world. You know, playing in the world and everything. You know, I had my mind uh, fixated on what was going on in the world. You know, um, 